really like moving into your power. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I think that um, applies for both expressing yourself in general and expressing yourself in relationship with this person that we're looking into. But I think this is working in a twofold kind of way, <clears throat> Sagittarius, where you're moving into your power. And that includes like your work that you're doing, the way you express yourself creatively. This is sort of like your month, right? So you really are in your power. You really are in your element. Okay, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And honeymoon. Let's see what's going on with this person, Sag. This person that's your soulmate. Okay, they have a lot of passion for you. They could be another fire sign. Yeah, so... You have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands together in this spread. So this is really, this really is a soulmate, Sag. And there's a possibility of marriage um, or like emotional fulfillment with this person. Or there was when you saw them. Um, I feel like the decision making is over. Yeah. Okay, so I think for some of you, you're actually reconciling with this person, realizing like this is the one, this is the soulmate. Um, this energy is just getting balanced, okay? There's just a knowing that this this relationship is what would fulfill you emotionally, it, and it's just coming. It's either coming back, like there was a separation, and you're coming back, or there's just this rekindling and expression of love. Mm -hmm. um, if there was any kind of indecision, um, that's being left behind. And now it's just a really balanced state. There's a lot of fulfillment. This relationship is able to express itself easily. Um, your person feels very balanced, feels like you're the one. And you see them as the one. Wow, this is just all it's saying is you guys are perfect together. <laughs> You know, this is just saying this is a really good relationship. You guys are on the same page. Um, you guys are both fulfilled. Yeah. There was a time, you know, there was a time maybe where you guys separated for a while. There was a little bit of imbalance. And I think you guys maybe took a little break from each other. Um, but now it looks just pretty good. Yeah. It's good. So what else do we have for you, Saj? Your energy is a little bit different towards them. They have really strong feelings for you. I almost want to say they moved away. Um, there might have been a time where you... Gosh, what is it? that? There just seems to be some kind of break between the two of you. And you come back together. Um, you really let go of control. Um, you're really open to communicating with them. You really are open to expressing your love. I think there was a time where you were kind of reserved. <clears throat> Maybe because of pa past betrayals, um, you were kind of holding back from communicating, but now you're kind of, you're kind of open to communication. They really see you as the one and they and they really let go of kind of any kind of indecision that they have towards you um, and really move into this kind of balanced state. You're kind of kept to yourself right now, though, like there, I think you, you guys are in separation. This is a very strange energy. They seem really um, all about it when it comes to you. They had a lot of kind of. I feel like in the beginning you saw them more as like a solid 
option, right? As the one, as the soulmate. <clears throat> and they... I don't know, let's just keep going. I, and they, it's like, they had some healing to do or something. They just weren't quite sure. They didn't see what you saw until after. But it wasn't much after that they realized that you were like really who like would satisfy them, fulfill them emotionally, you know? And um, if there was any kind of betrayal or kind of funky energy going on between the two of you, it's like working itself out. It's really like both of you sort of move into this, you Sagittarius move into a state of like, it doesn't matter what happens. Like you're not chasing anything. As a matter of fact, you're walking away from anything that would be chasing. Yeah, they see you as a soulmate. They see you as their soulmate. Wish fulfillment. They want to reconcile with you, hands down. Hands down. And you just like kind of like let go of the fight open to communicating, you don't have your walls up, um, you're walking away from any kind of funky energy, betrayal, defeat, like, they don't even see you as trying, like, they don't even see you as trying right now, like, you're, you're, you're done, like, you're, you've kind of walked away from, like, <coughs> having any expectations with them, and then they move into this state of like knowing that they want to be with you. Well, oh, Sag. kind of in an indecisive kind of, they don't know what to make of this. You feel like what they have to offer you is small. Let's see um, if you're okay with that. Is this the, let me get these cards out. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, you think they're kind of hard to work with. Um, but I do think you guys are going to come into a, a place of reconciliation. I really do. There's a balance moving in. You guys are shedding old, old things that you guys had together. And I do think you guys are coming together. They see you as marriage material. They see you as somebody they want to build with. They put you in higher regard than you have them at this point. Um, I feel like they feel like you can't decide. But you are willing to start something with them, but you also are kind of willing to start something with yourself, okay? Like, Sag, I think you're doing your own thing, okay? I just see you in this independent energy. You're kind of not paying attention to this person. You're doing your own thing. Um, and they're the ones who, who really want to start something with you when you see that, okay? Um, I feel like they're the ones that are going to be expressing themselves to you, Sag. So just go ahead and wait on that. Um, I don't even see you having the energy uh, to go, you're just listening, you know, I, I don't see you communicating like they are, they're trying to make, I feel like they made a decision, but they don't know what you've decided, and that's what's kind of what's going on, um, they're really sure that you're the one, they're really sure that you guys been, you, t you took some time apart, I really don't know why, why did they take time apart, spirit? Why was there a period apart for Sag and their person? And why were they apart? Yeah, because the there was other options. The love was ooh. <laughs> okay. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, so Sag, you really, you thought that they were somebody they weren't in the beginning, and they had other options. Um, what they had to offer you was very fishy, very, very small. They had the Knight of Wands energy. They were kind of in it for the show, kind of play, playboy, playgirl energy, like player energy, um, and they needed to heal this kind of energy. <laughs> and it didn't take... I want to say it didn't take long. All it took was you to be like, 
I'm walking away from this. You really like right now you're like, uh, okay, I kind of see what this really is. Um, like I'll communicate, I'll hear you out. Like you're not like super angry at this person. Um, but you do see them for who they are and you just go, Ooh, I don't want that kind of energy in my life. So you just walk away. You're like, I don't want to hear what you have to offer. I don't want to fight for you. I'm not looking your way. Um, when, when, when you think of them in the future, you, you, you just look their way and you're like, Whoa, that's an uphill climb of nonsense. When they look your way, they are literally like, this person's great. This is my soulmate. Um, and they see you indecisive about them. <laughs> um, yeah. So what is the Duke Two of Swords about at this point? Okay. So they know, they know their truth. They know they want to be with you, Sag. Now they're not quite sure. You know, I want to say they're not quite sure. Um, they know you're the one, they know you're their soulmate. They're not quite sure where you're at right you're kind of receiving their energy but you're also kind of working on yourself you're just in this like free play Sag. um you're about expressing they're expre about <laughs> you're about expressing your love to yourself and into the external world around you all around your um the gifts that you have to express the love that you have to express to people family um you know your work your mission work that kind of thing and they're all about expressing to you. So it's like, you're not looking their way. You're like looking inward towards your own development, towards your own growth. And they mimic it towards you. Like everything you put out, not towards them, but towards everything else but them and yourself, they give back to you. And the more you do that, the more they are moving towards you. And you become lighter and lighter and free from any kind of ties. Um, and they just, they love it. I mean, they are mesmerized by you. Yeah, they want to hold on to you now. <laughs> they don't want you to go away. They are holding on to you big time now. Yeah, and they want to offer you something. Okay, this is a very slow moving energy. This person wants to offer you something, but they don't know what the heck. I feel like this person hasn't done this before. I don't think they've met anybody like you before. You want nothing to do with kind of defeatist mentalities. You want nothing to do with things that are going to just collapse and end. You want to build, you want things that are light. You don't want to fight. If it looks like this person's moving away, they're not. It's just a, a facade. They don't know what to do. Okay. They don't know what to do with your energy. They see you as a soulmate. They see you as a soulmate. And I do see that this is possible that you guys do have, you guys do come together. Okay. But it's really this energy that's so fascinating, Sag, that you're just, you're doing your thing and they are getting more and more mesmerized. They're more and more in their truth that you're the one that they want. Honestly, I'm not getting a, like a strong idea that it matters to you. <laughs> it doesn't matter to you. But I guess if you're watching this, read it might, right? But be mindful that it's the energy of like working on all the things that are around you. Yeah, you're just letting go of the old, you know? So I feel like you're like letting them go and they don't want you to go. Uh, the more you let go, the more you shine your own light, your own beauty, your own creation, your own colors. <laughs> um, the more you're not even looking their way, the more they want you. Yeah, they're trying to stay strong. This is actually really hard for them. This is really, really hard for them. Um, see the signs. See the signs. Okay, I'm not sure why that's there. See the signs. See the signs. Have courage. I feel like you are moving into your courage. I feel like by letting go, it's like, it doesn't even take courage anymore. This is such a cute card. It's just, um, you, you just, you have, you already are courage. You already are the lion. You already are willing to take a leap of faith. You are shining your own colors. You're shining your own light. Um, 
this person seeing all the signs, this person seeing your truth, this person seeing your beauty, they want everything to do with it. And I don't know if it's, you know, it looks like there's a coming together. There's the judgment card. There's the temperance card. There's definitely a coming together. Um, and you're willing to like do like work slowly with them. Okay. But it, it's slow moving because it's not really on the top of your list of what you need to be doing right now. Um, it's just not, yeah, it's not on the top of your list of what you need to be doing, Sag. Let's see what other energies we have for you and them. Yeah, you're just moving into Jupiter energy. A lot of people are. Okay, this person's interesting. Uh, this person gets the genius. I feel like they think you're a genius, honestly. They see your genius. Um, this person might be really in their mind. They might even get stuck in their mind quite a bit. Um, you are just in this really abundant place. A lot of abundant energy, a lot of growth, a lot of expansion. As you release, let go, and move into your light, your courage, and your your glitter. It's like your glitter. This person seeing your genius, seeing the signs. Your person might be like Aquarius. Yeah, seeing the signs, going with the flow. Um. Oh, there you are. For some of you, this person might have something that they're really, really skilled at, that they're kind of genius at, okay? They might even be a little bit of like a savant, okay? And so maybe I'm even getting like maybe they aren't as much of a player as they don't know how to play. You know, they don't know how to play the love game. They're kind of savantish. They're kind of in their own little world. And I think that's why they realize you're the one, but it's like almost why they couldn't make a decision or move toward you because they don't really um, know how to do it. So they're actually learning how to be strong, move into that lion energy, move into like really seeing the signs, um, seeing who you are, seeing the benefits of you being in their life. Um, and you're kind of, this is interesting. If they mirror you out, Sag, you almost see the genius within them and you go ahead and you don't chase them. You follow your own genius. You follow your own spark. And then they're attracted to you more because they can relate to that more is what I'm getting. Interesting. So for some of you, your person's kind of like an out there genius type. And once you move into your genius, Sag, they kind of, it's like, you embrace what the external is within yourself, but then you attract it. And it wants, it's, 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 it's this person's a little like, I want to say a little nervous. Um, it's hard for them to, um, be strong and express their love. They would like a lot of times they'll just kind of, they have a lot of healing to do. That's why kind of why maybe they had player energy. It's really because they don't know how to do love right um it it takes a lot of strength um but they're really they they really understand genius they really understand creativity they understand that kind of expression and as you move more into that they relate and can understand you more and they want to be with you so they are healing and they're also learning um yeah this is a definite soulmate relationship um be, this is interesting when they see themselves in you is when they kind of maybe they didn't really realize like kind of their odd genius behaviors until you started displaying them and then they understood if that makes any sense and it's kind of showed them their own shadows and moved them into seeing what is like really going on seeing you um and then and then seeing their their fear of like intimacy and love and they want it now, but it's slow for them because this is a slow truth for them. <laughs> like this person's actually not natural at this. And so 
don't want to make an excuse for them, but they literally like interesting that you, you chose them. But I do feel like you Sagittarius have so much genius to express within yourself that you would have manifested somebody with a genius as well to kind of ignite that genius within you. So this could be expressed because it's your birthright. It, it's, it's part of your um, blueprint of what you came here to do. So it was all for that reason, you know? Um, not a, not just your person expressing their love to you and them learning how to do that, but you learning how to express your love to yourself and then all of those around you, okay? And I think it's for a lot of people. It's going to benefit the world, and it's going to benefit you. You just become lighter and lighter and more and more expansive and more and more abundant, and this person just kind of flows in, kind of walks on in, and you're like, okay. You know, it's kind of like, okay, no big deal, no big deal portal doors are opening you decide rewards wild card uh yeah everything's opening up for you Sag. you're moving into a new realm you're expressing a whole new energy and then that will reflect itself back to you so you're going to see more genius creative energy expansion in your world from this point on. And this is your time to just kind of ignite it all <clears throat> at the bottom of the deck. I got jump in and drama and energy adventure. Say yes to change because that's all that's going to happen. Change color, 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 expression, expression, light, light. Um, you're attracting this person back like a magnet. Um, it's up to you whether you want them back or not. It's totally up to you, but they want to, they're just going to come towards you. Okay. They're just going to come, come towards you, Saj. <clears throat> and that's just the way it's going to be. <laughs> um, let's see. What other cards do I want? What do they want to do? I'm going to do a couple more. And close it out. Past lives. This one's the one. Yeah, look at that. You're going to be, you're the master. You're the master of of your own creation right you're creating the world that you want to create you're illuminated the light is on your genius is on breakthrough past lives okay it's the past life relationship that has um, propelled you catapulted you into this breakthrough and you are shining and like a shiny shiny diamond Sagittarius this is a really lovely read if you would like a personal read my information is in the description box um, I do have them for as low as $22 um, and if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate you listening. Have happy holidays and, um, happy birthday. And, uh, that's all I have for you, Saj. Take care. Bye.